Hello, it's Aga from Arby's Artist, and today we're talking about the bad habits that 3D artists make. These are pretty bad habits, and I hope that after watching this video, you won't do any of them anymore. Let's begin. So what I'm talking about here is the situation when you have your scene more or less set up. You tested a few camera angles, you were happy with one of them, and it's done. Instead of testing some different camera angles, some less obvious ones. I am not telling here to spend hours on choosing the camera angle, but adding this couple extra minutes to test some less obvious variations and create something special. We're talking about camera angles, we need to talk about lighting as well. It cannot be otherwise. Creating a scene with only one lighting scene here to all possible options, it's a quite common one. And most of the time, it's a daylight. Why? It's safe because most of the time clients like it and it's easy to do. Why not to try something different? I'm not saying that you cannot do nice, interesting daylight visualization. Sure you can. I'm just encourage you to take different options into consideration and choose the proper lighting to the atmosphere you want to achieve. Excuses, excuses, excuses. The design is wrong, the space is dull, nothing fits together. The thing is that it even may be a case, but our role as 3D artist is to present the space in the best possible way and not to make excuses. So even if the design is wrong, the space is dull or whatever, we should at least try to make it more interesting. We can use interesting camera angle, play a bit with light and shadows, or maybe adjust the material to fit the color combinations. Whatever it is, we can always, always make it more attractive. After we work on a project for a while, our eyes get used to it and we cannot really see our mistakes. So a lot of time, it's a good idea to ask somebody else for help. First of all, we can learn from each other. And secondly, you may not see the things that somebody else will see. If you don't track your progress, the journey to become a great 3D artist extends a lot. Typically, if we work on a project, we are happy with the results at that time. However, if you go back to this project after a few months or years, you probably don't like it so much like back then. If you go back and compare your old projects with the new ones, firstly, you may analyze your progress. Secondly, you may see the mistakes more clearly. And lastly, you may draw some great conclusions. Organization, it's not a pretty common habit among artists and it's not a good sign if you can refer to it. This is one of these things that artists underestimate so much, even if it causes so many troubles in the long run. So keep your project folder simple. Always name the files so it's pretty straightforward. Organize your files during the job, but also after it's done. Don't keep the unnecessary files in the project folder. And keep your working files organized, especially layers. Also, don't leave solving problems for later, as they probably come back to you in even more unsuitable moments. Working long hours without any breaks in between, it's a pretty bad habit. At the first glance, you may think that you are doing more, and it may be the case at the beginning or if it's not the everyday situation for you. However, if you work long hours all day long, in the long run, it makes you really unproductive. You're getting tired, you cannot see your mistakes, and you're getting distracted. In the result, the quality of your projects is not as you wish, it takes you much longer than it should, and you're not happy anymore with the job you're doing. Taking short breaks in between helps a lot, as your brain and eyes need a rest. 
so I'm not talking here about slacking off. Just to take a few minutes in between to be able to look at the project with the fresh eye. You might think that it's quite a bit, but I hope it helps you. As when we know where the problem is, it's much easier to fix it, right? By the way, you might be interested in checking out our training for beginners. During the course, we teach you everything from the first time you open 3ds Max all day long to creating your own visualizations. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!